morning, morning, New Canaan, Canaan High School. School. I'm Thomas Rocklin. And I'm Erica Jensen. Today is Friday, May 11th, and a day D. There's been a lot of news going on around the school lately, but before we get to that, let's pre please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I, I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. So, Rock, are you excited to rendezvous in the 20s next week with your fellow classmates? I can't wait, Erica. I better get my flapper dress and tailored, my flapper dress tailored and pick out my feathered piece hair soon. Time is running out. Can't wait to see how you'll look dressed up in your Gatsby gear. Seniors, if you haven't purchased your prom ticket yet, today's the last day to do so. Table settings are first come, first serve. The tickets are on sale in the lounge for $75 each during all three lunch shifts, so make sure you buy them today if you plan on attending senior prom. Sounds like it's going to be fun, Erica. Speaking of fun, there are a couple of music events coming up next week. If you are, enjoy listening to beautiful music, let's check out the orca orchestra concert next Wednesday, May 16th. Also next week, the annual Battle of the Bands competition, Ramstock. This event is a great way for students to come together and enjoy some great music. We now go to Courtney Leopold for more details on this NCHS Classic. calendar. We will be hosting Ramstock next week inside the gym. Tickets will be $8 and sold at the door. With AP exams and finals coming up, why not take a night just to relax with your friends? Food will be sold by the juniors to support their class and musical performance include Love Via Dance Machine, Nick DePew, Devin Calhoun, Mr. Gallo's Band, and so many more. So come and help Stuco on this annual event. For NCTV, this has been Courtney Leopold. Back to Rock and Erica in the studios. Thanks, Courtney. NCTV will be there filming all the great performances, so you can look for them on the channel afterwards. I can't wait to boogie down and have a last hurrah with my friends and classmates. Everybody can also get together and work off some final calories before prom at the Pura Vida Zumba Benefit on Tuesday, May 15th at 360 Fitness in New Canaan from 715 to 815. It's located at 45 Grove Street, and all proceeds benefit the third annual mobile food packing event. Get a group of friends together and head down for a great time and a great cause. Another fun event is coming up. Don't forget the annual Mayfair is this weekend. The Mayfair will be held Saturday at St. Mark's Church at 111 Oan Oak Ridge. Everyone's favorite foods will be there, such as strawberry shortcakes, caramel apples, nachos, Classic rides such as the Monkey Cages, the Tornado, Alibaba, and Brendan Bacon, Baker's favorite, the Teacups. While you're there, make sure you check out all the White Elephant sales where you will sure get a good deal on some cool items. Speaking of good deals, the NC Station School Store is selling Bussy's Bomb Squad shirts for $7 each. Bomb Squad towels are on sale for $3 and Flavor Ice and Sorbet are back in stock. Head on down to the school store to pick up this fun merchandise before they're gone. And you know I love a good bargain, Erica. The sports teams this week sure earn their horns. Let's see what Brendan Baker has. You know, Rock, I can't wait to ride those teacups with my mommy and my daddy. Good morning, NCHS. Welcome to another edition of the Ram Sports Report. We start this week with baseball as they lost to Greenwich 4-3 Monday, but bounced back with a 10-3 victory over Ludlow. Softball won a pitcher's duel against Greenwich 1-0 and then clipped the Ludlow Falcons 5-2. Boys, lacrosse is on fire. They demolished McMahon 15-5 on MSG Varsity and then doubled up Powerhouse Richfield 10-5. Don't look now, but girls lacrosse defeated Greenwich in a game of undefeated 12-10, also on MSG Varsity. Boys and girls track beat Harding, but lost to Staples. Boys tennis blanked Ludlow 4-zip and lost a heartbreaker to Richfield 4-3. Girls tennis dropped Central early in the week, then they outfought Richfield 4-3, and they will finish an in-progress match versus Ludlow later today. Boys golf easily beat West Hill, but then lost to undefeated Richfield by just four strokes. Girls golf lost by one stroke to Danbury. 
It was a tough week for boys volleyball, losing to Greenwich and Staples three sets to nothing. Now, it might be May, but the weather feels like October, just in time for spring football. Following an 11-2 season, a Turkey Bowl victory, and a sixth straight trip to the state title game, the Rams must replace the loss of key seniors such as record-setting quarterback Matt Milano and the anchor of the defense, Dylan Leeming. That'll do it for sports this week. It's Taylor time next Friday. For now, I'm Brendan Baker with the Rams Sports Report. Thanks, Brendan. Fantastic as always. The sports team sure didn't let the gloomy weather affect their playing. How's the weather going to look this week, Erica? Are we going to have another muddy Mayfair? Well, Rock, it looks like we might be okay. Today will be sunny with a high of 66 degrees. Saturday will be sunny with a high of 75 degrees. And Sunday will be thunderstorms with a high of 72 degrees. Looks like the weather won't be great for all of you last-minute Mother's Day shoppers. Well, I can't wait to soak up the sun after such a rainy week. Me too, Rock. Make sure you check out the jazz band concert and Girls Lacrosse vs. Loomis Chaffee that are airing on the channel from last week. This has been Erica Jensen. And Thomas Rockland. Stay tuned for a video that I put together to get all you football players and potential football players excited to get out on the field. See you next week, NCTV. We can be a much better football team than we are right next now. week. You're going to find out just how good you can't take it easy this week coming up.